<laughs> oh, I thought it was more complicated than that. Well, it was not fair that they'd hide it there or they put it. I don't know why they would do that. Yeah, because it doesn't make sense to. If you're managing the, the mic settings, you would be putting it here and not like in there. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't recognize it as a microphone. It recognizes it as an audio input because it's not in a mic inline. Oh, maybe. But I don't know. Hey, Lane, anyway. can you hear us? You can hear us now? Good. Good, 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 good. Okay, let me see if I can find that game that I was... Doki Doki. And it's on stuff. Oh, oh, here it is. <laughs> I was like, what? Wait, how come it's all... Oh, 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 I see. why we got those um, frame rate drops. In the this other computer game. is displaying graphics slowly. Update? I don't think you need to worry about it. No? Well, you don't need to worry about it now because it was working just... before. No, it's just because of. Okay, let's just. Okay, we'll just... <laughs> because this isn't a graphics intensive game, so even if it displays it like slowly, it's not. Gonna be slow. It was like, do you remember why we got those frame rate drops and stuff in uh, Outlast? Yeah, Outlast Two. I remember yeah, that. Yeah, so I think it's because of that. You might just need to update, update your DirectX. It? Oh, okay. If that's, if that's what it's saying. It's possible, cause yeah, I didn't update anything when I installed the new graphics card, so it probably needs the new update. Or now. worst case scenario, the slot on your motherboard just. It's an older slot or the slot's damaged. That's what I'm thinking, but I don't know enough. Hmm. Because, like, I think it uses, like, PCIe 3 or something now. Mm -hmm. So if your motherboard was older and it used PCIe 2, like, um, does that make sense? Yeah, it does make sense. I don't remember what it was, though. I thought it was PCIe It's I probably fine. Three. It, it doesn't. It, it's, it's okay. Fine. It can... Yeah. Okay, yes, welcome to another episode of We Die Too Much in Doki Doki Literature Club. Yes, TGL and TMN are still on vacation, so it's just me, Brandon, and Teresa today. Where? Teresa will be back. She's doing more important things. We're joining the Doki Doki Literature Club. Yes, we're doing the Doki, joining the Doki Doki Literature Club. Oops. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that everything else was okay. Okay, yep, everything's okay. Full screen, text speed, we're good. And then I was going to use my name. It's already. Huh? I think it's already done. It's already done? Okay. Yeah. We don't know what this game is about. Well, Brandon has a slight idea of what the game is I about. I don't know what it's about. He knows what it's about. Did you want to sit closer to the front, maybe? Or? You can bring the fruit with you, too, if you okay. want. Did you want to narrate? Or what? Like read it? I don't know. I figured we should because it's a visual. Okay. Mode. Or do you think we need to get through this game fast so we don't need to? Mm, it's a short game. You can definitely knock it out in a day. That's okay. Hey! Um, I see an annoying girl running towards... Oh, wait. Don't we need audio? No, this is... Oh, okay. This is audio. Should have audio. Does it not? No. There's... I feel like there should be sound. Okay, I'm going to... to. Oh, sorry. I thought. No, no. Oh, it thinks it's a. Hold on. Okay. Is that better? Yes. And then the desktop oh, should be spring. Yeah. Okay. Just making sure. Okay. Okay. Everything's fine now. Elaine's like, I can't wait to see how you die in this game. Brandon reads the girls' voices. Yeah, okay. Okay. I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, wavering her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. 
you know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it's just the kind of work, or it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. Should we wait for, uh, okay. Should we wait for Teresa? Well, uh, that's where we, we cut it from Teresa. Oh. Uh, okay. Wow. Yeah. I think she'll be busy for a while because she has to do some okay. job stuff. Okay, so. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to ch chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up, or catch up to me. Do I actually do the girl voice in a girl voice, or do I just like read it? I don't know. Elaine says Brandon reads the girls' voices. <laughs> I don't know. I can't do imitation. I overslept again, but I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Okay, he, she says go. Maybe, but wait. Oops, sorry. Hey, you say that like you're thinking about ignoring me. That's a mean diner. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or any anything. Oops. Fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you are too. I can't. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> Couldn't you sound more convincing for your? <laughs> well, like, I'll, I'll try. I'll try. Okay. okay. I gotta. I gotta get into character. Okay. I'm just. I'm just I so excited. I believe in you. Maybe so the next character might be better for you. I don't know. I know all the characters. I've. I've been through this. Oh, okay. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Dino, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Oh my, I feel I did? so awkward. Dude. Did I? <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. Did you want to switch? <laughs> no, I want to be the best character. <laughs> he wants to be the best character, sure. I'm sure it's possible that I did. In one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. So Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me, but when I'm perfectly content about just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really <laughs> important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I'd die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. Elaine's like, okay, now Brandon, do Sayori's voice in a super deep voice. You trust me, right? <laughs> <laughs> what happened to your voice? Don't make me keep worrying about you. All right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. What did I miss? No promises, though. We just got this character. We're just And she's trying out. to convince us to join a club because yes. we're a neat. Or we're, we might become a neat. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay. <laughs> Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? Teresa can voice the next character, I guess. Okay. More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself re le relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside her head. Hi, NNFC Gaming. <laughs> Welcome Yo. to the channel. The school day is as ordinary as ever, but it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? Sayori? Oh, Sayori <laughs> must have come into the classroom while I was facing out. I look around and realize I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom. Teresa, do you want to do the girl thing? <laughs> but it doesn't, okay. I thought I'd catch you coming out, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. You might want to move a little bit to the left. No, I don't want this new person to see me. <laughs> like The new person says this is a very cutesy game, eh? It is! 
This person knows. This person knows. <laughs> Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know. Know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sayori. Yeah? There's no way I'm going to join your club. Oh, eh, meanie. <laughs> Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. You're horrible! <laughs> <laughs> oh. And that's like he made cupcakes and everything. Oh, I do like cupcakes. Oh. <laughs> Don't, Don't make any promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead or if she's so c cunning as to have planned all of this out. I let out a long sigh. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? I think that's yes, it. <laughs> let's go. Sorry, I was looking at chat. It's okay. Oh, sorry, I was reading the chat as well. <laughs> And thus today marks the day I sold my soul, soul for a cupcake. I dejectly, dejectedly follow Sayuri across the hall and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit. Being generally used for third year classes and activities, Sayuri, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here! I told you, not don't call me a new member! Eh? I class, glance around the room. Fun. Did you want to? You? Doesn't matter. Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure meeting you. <laughs> Sayuri always says nice things about you. Who's this? Seriously? You brought a boy? Okay. Way to kill the atmosphere. Okay, ah, so Dino! <laughs> what a nice surprise! I guess I'll be talking to myself. Welcome to the club! Just, just, just... Dot, dot, dot. All words escape in this situation. This club... It's full of incredibly cute girls! Sounds just like you. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. S sorry. That's Suki. <laughs> the, oh, okay. oh, the girl with the sour <laughs> attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. Oops. You can't just ignore her when she gets moody. Alex says hi. Oh, hello! <laughs> How can someone sleeps in late every day have so much energy in the morning? <laughs> I don't know. Sayuri says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Who? Oh. Don't say <laughs> things like that. Oh, Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Dino. Maybe I'll... So is she deeper than your normal <laughs> <laughs> I figured I would make it different. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. It's, well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl, girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. But having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... Y you too, Monica. Come sit down, Dino. We made room for you at the table, so you can sec sit next to me or Monica. I'll sit next to Monica. <laughs> I'll get the cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. 
As Suyuri mentioned, it's been widened so that one space next to the Monica and one space next to Sayuri. Natsuki and y Yuri uh, walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki ra ra bleh, grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayuri. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Ooh! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Oh, that's cute. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make the ears. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki! Sayuri grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious! Sayuri talks with mouthful and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. But why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard some or heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything? Oh, she's a Sunere character. Eh? <laughs> I thought you technically did. Sayuri said. Well, maybe. But not for, you know, you, dummy. Alright, alright. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a tea cup in front of us before setting down, er, setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. It's you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I saw her character and I got confused. You keep a whole tea set in the, this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I guess. Eh, don't let yourself be intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Eh? Th that's not. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri sm faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow and smiles at me. So, what have you considered the- er, what made you consider the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayuri. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayuri seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone! Should I be, like, high-pitched? <laughs> <laughs> Monica, I'm surprised! How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know... To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around me- That doesn't fit her character, <laughs> No, no, that's good! It's, Does it's, it? It's, 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 you can distinguish it. It doesn't sound like you're talking to yourself. <laughs> but I am talking to myself! <laughs> To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels nothing but arguing about the budget and public publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into the literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't many people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like... Uh, school offense. <laughs> school events like the festival that much more important. Oh, sorry. I'm confident that we can really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah. Also, Elaine says to do a super, super deep voice for Monica. 
Do do a super deep voice? Yeah. Okay, I'll try next. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> Everyone enthusiastically <laughs> agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I'm still not re don't really know if I can keep up with their level in of enthusiasm in literature. So, Dana, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sm sad smile. Anyways, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a boring world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up wh that when she finds comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyways, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp on something I can relate to at a minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri, for someone as gentle as you. Does that work? <laughs> sure. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over me for a split second. Never mind. That's right! You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last class club meeting. It looked like you were trying to work on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And give her that back! Fine, fine. Hey, hey, your, your cupcakes, your poems. Everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sayuri sidles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. D Natsuki, do you write your own poems? Eh, well... Oops. <laughs> why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N no Oh, whoops. <laughs> like them. Ah, not very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have a or do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Darn it, I went back into character. Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example. Maybe help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share her share hers. There. I guess that's the same for Yuri. Oh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We sit in silence for a moment. Okay! I have an idea, everyone! Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll share them with each other. That way, everyone's even. Uh, um... Yeah, let's do it. Plus, now we have a new member. I think it'll help us get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Dino? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh? What's that? Now we're back to the original topic of me joining the club. I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. 
I never said I would join this club. Sayuri may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um... I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, but... I'm sorry, I thought... Hmm. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you all... <laughs> I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, I'm, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls... Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girl's eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy. Oh, Sayuri wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! hey. He really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Then it makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Ah, uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think that we can officially end today's go back to meeting. Pitch. Oh, high pitched? Why high pitched? Elaine says your deep voice got tired. <laughs> <laughs> Do I want to? I don't know. I don't want to ruin her character though. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember today's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting We can so we can sh all share. Mo Monica looks at me once more. Dino, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress this class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel Can the ex you? I don't know. <laughs> she seems like she's expecting too much of me. I feel I already feel anxiety welling up inside of me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey Dino, since we're already here, do you wanna walk home together? That's right, Sayuri and I never walk home together anymore because she's always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay. You sound so un <laughs> yeah, <I> can't <laughs> With that, the two of us depart the cl club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayuri, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course Monica. Will I be happy spending every day after school in a literature club full of girls <laughs> perhaps i'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls all right i'll just need to make the most out of my circumstances and i'm sure good fortune will find me and i guess i'll start that starts with writing a poem tonight yeah oh Pooh bear's here it's time to write a poem pick words you think your favorite club member will like something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Okay. Sticky? <laughs> mm, what do I want to write a poem about? Well, it depends. I'll, I, don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. Do you want me to just explain oh, this? Oh, hold on. Since I... Oh, hold on. If I highlight over some words certain characters... No? Okay, never mind. Um, I, I could explain this mechanic to you. Sure, if you want basically, to. Basically, um... The girls, each of them, the girls will like certain words, and you just pretty much choose the words the girls you think will like. Oh, okay. Explode. And, will, and then you can see when you <laughs> click a word, they'll, they'll jump. Oh, okay. Yeah, I kind of had a feeling for that. Okay, so let's all do different words, or should we do... Dino, you're you're the new member. You have I, to write this I poem. I do? I or have to perhaps write? with the help of okay. Teresa. Well, for the first... I've, I've, okay, I've written these poems. Just, just, okay, so I did yeah. explode. Um, let's do an ending. Why is suicide one? Dest at infallible. Uh, destiny. Uh, I I don't know. <laughs> Restrained. Judgment. Sure. Judgment. You're, you're really choosing words Yuri will like. Really? Okay. Because you can see which, whatever the word you click, they'll jump. Oh, massacre. Who likes massacre? No one likes massacre. No, no, you click it and they'll jump in a reaction to it. Oh, Probably okay. Yuri. Yuri, really? Uh, which one has you? Beauty? Oh, oh, Yuri okay, I one. see. Uh, Starscape. Uh, let's see. Doki Doki. Um, ah, uh, scars 
uh, tears. Uh, promise. Tenacious. Uh, melody. Parfait. Games. Ex oh, sure. Which death? Where was death? <laughs> Don't <laughs> like think five pages ago. Uh, let's see. Universe. I don't know. Sure, universe. Um. I already did Doki Doki, so I don't know. Pouch. Inferno sounds amazing. Philosophy. You really and like stuff that theory, like. I don't know. I'm just picking random words. Giggle, music, I don't know, memories? <laughs> this poem is just a jumble of words. Hi again, Dino. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Ha ha ha. Oh wait, I was supposed to do a deep voice. Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Dino. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive head first into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh come on, like he deserves any slack. Sayuri told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in her room. Mm. Er, club room. Mm. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Dino always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without even me asking. I almost forgot Dino's a guy. <laughs> <laughs> like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Sayuri, that's because your room is so messy it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. That's so... <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Dino can become good friends too. Um... So, Sayori! Hmm? As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh, oh, Yuri even brought you something today, you know. But wait, Sayori! Huh? Me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? N never mind. Yuri. That's oh, Yuri. <laughs> I mean, it sounds like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Eh, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any just uh, nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happier no matter what. Oops. <laughs> is that so... Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you want to. Is it because of the choices that we made earlier? That this is um, how is this girl accidentally being so cute she even picked up a book she thinks i'll like despite me not reading much yuri thank you i'll definitely read this i enthusiastically take the book well you can read it at your own pace i look forward to hearing what you think now that everyone's settled in i expect monica or expected monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club but that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayuri and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is all already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression, like she was waiting for this chance. 
Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging in the closet. Man. It looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slumped down into the near nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related by myself like this? I guess I could read some of the books er read some of the book Yuri gave me. But I'm feeling a little too tired to read. I could probably fall asleep right now. I close my eyes and end up listening in on Say Sayori's conversation with Monica. We're probably gonna seem really lame compared to y'all the other clubs though. Hmm? Well, we can't give up. The festivals are a chance to show everyone what literature is all about. I, I don't think I could do that on low voice, actually. I guess I'll go back. Yeah. The problem is, is that the idea of a literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. But that's not like... Er, that... Eh, it's that's not like that at all, you know? We just need to find a way of showing that to everyone. Something that speaks to their creative minds. Hmm. That doesn't solve the problem, though. Huh? Hey, what do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever. Nobody will come in the first place if it's a literature event. It's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? I can't keep going. <laughs> uh, and after they come, we can do the thing to speak to... We can do the thing to speak to their creative minds. What's this? Sayuri is talk taking this seriously. It's rare to hear her deliberating like this. Huh, that's a good point. In that case, do you think food will do the trick? What kind? Well, I guess we could. Cupcakes! Ah, good thinking. Natsuki would love to do that. Ah, you're right. Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. That works out perfectly. That wasn't why you suggested it? Cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. I think we sound too similar now. <laughs> It's, it's hard. Yeah. Oh, well, what should I do for Monica's voice? <laughs> Cupcakes it is yes, then. You can do it, Brandon. Don't give up. Wait, what? For se I'm hungry. Anyways, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. I find myself smiling. In the end, Sayuri is being her usual self. Oh, yeah, okay. It's detecting. Now it's detecting? Yeah, you can see I wonder what happened. Peaking. That's weird. That is weird. Maybe we we're finicking too much with the reports here? Maybe. Everything's okay now, Elaine? Please tell us. Can we around? And, and yeah. you're back! Okay. Alright. I read that. You'll need to get used to it. Don't say that so loud! I glance over my shoulder to see if Monica overheard. It's true, though. Yeah, I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Sayuri. <laughs> it's what I do best. That's a problem. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Eh? Not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days in this past week have you gone up on time? That's... It's a secret. I knew it. Come on. At least give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. Look, Sayuri. It's written all over you. Eh? Sayuri glances around at herself. How is it written all over me? 
You were clearly in a rush this morning. Look, your hair is sticking out all over around here. <sighs> I run my fingertips down the, uh, down the side of Sayuri's hair, trying to straighten it out. Man, you really need a brush for this. My hair is just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. There's more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't straight either. And there's toothpaste stain on your collar right there. <laughs> I try to wipe off the stain with my finger. But, but nobody would ever notice that. Of course they would. No one's go or Nobody's gonna tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I don't really care about that. Hey, you meanie. And you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Seriously, Sayuri, why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Wow. Ouch. <laughs> That's super mean. Yeah, I'm gonna have to agree with her. Yeah. Sorry, but you'll thank me later. I start to button her blazer from the bottom. Why am I doing it? Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. This is so funny. What is? Well... I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kind of things. Eh? Don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay, though. I'm happy we're like this. Aren't you? I, I, I guess. Hey, be careful. The button might come off. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> why, why is this one so hard to close? I struggle to fully close the button near her chest. Does this thing even fit you properly? <laughs> it did when I bought it. Uh, if you ever button it, you would have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? I mean, my boobs got bigger. <laughs> Don't say I mean, that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, you look so much better now, so... Uh, why does it feel strange to see Sayuri's blazer buttoned up like that? But it's so stuffy. Uh, it's not <laughs> worth it at all. What kind of game is this? What kind of game no, is this? No, I swear. <laughs> Sayuri hastily unbuttons her blazer once more. My hard work! <laughs> That's so much better. Sayuri pulls, puts out, her, put her arms out and twirls around. So if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend. <laughs> what kind of logic is that? And why are you saying that? Like saying that, like it's a good thing. Because if I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't even let me do things like this. Oh my let god! Let you do things. Let you do things like this. And you take better. You take care of me better than anyone else would anyway. So that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. Elaine says you have a perfect voice actor with this. Who? <laughs> Brandon? Stop saying all these embarrassing things. Eh? I didn't say anything embarrassing. This whole Jeez. game for me has just been one embarrassment. <laughs> why did you recommend it? <laughs> well, anyways, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only... Oh. Oh, Only sorry. if you focus on going to bed earlier. Fine, fine. It's a deal. <laughs> I guess we are really be I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are at taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so, huh? So maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. <laughs> You're doing it again, Sayuri. Oh, but I was joking that time. Man, it's possible to tell with you sometimes. Okay, everyone. Eh? Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we share the poems we wrote now? Oh, right, the poems. Yay. I can't wait. Dino, I can't wait to read yours. Yeah, same. I fail to sound enthusiastic, but Sayuri still trots around to retrieve her poem. By the way, did you remember to write the poem last night? Y yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. Yeah, like I couldn't... voice this girl. <laughs> <laughs> what am I supposed to do for this girl? <laughs> I couldn't really find inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait. Sayuri and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayuri's on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. 
I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching up into their bags. I do the same myself. Who should I show my poem off to first? I mean, I can also save it here. Oh, I can. Yeah, you can save it at any dialogue point. Let's see that. Who should I do? It's up to you. You said Yuri might enjoy mine the most, right? No, uh, uh, I won't say anything. I can reload. No, 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 no. it's fine. No, no, okay. no, keep going. Yuri keep seems going. the most experienced, so I should start with her. I can trust her opinion, to be fair. There's so much detail. Do you really need to know whether they wrote a historical composition of it? Apparently. I guess in a way it kind of shows a difference their character. in their personality. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes, more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um. Oh. Sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Um. It's fine. Don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Er, uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. So it's bad. No, no, no! Did I just raise my voice? Oh, I'm so sorry. Yuri f buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice if it's been several minutes and we haven't really gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine, I didn't really notice. What were you saying? Right, um... It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once again, Yuri finds her train of thought. It's as if her d demeanor yeah. totally changes. Wait, are we off screen now that I think of it? I might be leaning off screen. Yeah. Should I check? Uh, I can check slightly. No, it's just me. Oh, it is just you. Okay. I couldn't even see me I've and been, D. I, I, I'm just adjusting my, my legs. She's telling Tricky. us that our poem is bad. Her stammering is completely Sorry. gone, and she sounds like an expert. It's okay. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There's so many different skills and techniques that go into writing, even a simple poem. Not just finding, <coughs> Sorry. not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time. But it all comes with practice, and learning by example, and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit biased, though. Bias? How? Um... Well... Never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily, as if it's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Yes, beautiful. Mwah. Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Fading. It must be this one. The last remaining, the last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calm, breathing air of the present but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. You oh, know, the, this word I read is nostrils. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so I giggled. Nostrils are yeah. beautiful. The nostrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Brings a tear to my eye every time. <laughs> Sorry, that was bad. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. Yeah, I almost read nostrils. <laughs> what? <laughs> I wasn't thinking that at all. 
But it took you a long time to read. Ah, uh, well, I don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is very pretty. Eh? That's a relief. I also like the poem. Even though it's short, it's really descriptive. Was it too sh wasn't it too short? I usually write longer poems. Not at all. <laughs> I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Diamond. Really? I m must have missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps, in this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost, lingering in her last remaining piece of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I haven't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. And count it on you. Now that I think of it, shouldn't you voice Monica? It makes sense. <laughs> but <laughs> up to you, up to you. I, don't I can't mind. sure unless uh, if if people are okay, unless you guys are okay with my weird voice. I have a weird voice. No, nah, because uh, I'd be talking to myself and I can't yeah, seem no, to switch back. Yeah, because you get you get the inner monologue and your character yeah. Tracy gets too, and so. I get the two. Yeah, I could. Uh, just up like, to you. <laughs> I don't know how cringy it is, but I'll try. Okay. okay, you can do it okay. We can do it. Okay. Okay, who should we do next? Personally, I like Natsuki's poem. I remember this. Let's do it. <laughs> I like actually I like Natsuki's and Sayuri's poem in this one. Well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. That's a little blunt. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. It just didn't evoke any emotion. So basically, it's not cute enough for your taste. Do you want to get smacked? Oh, Teresa fits the voice perfectly. Dang. <laughs> Do you want I'll to get pass. smacked? <laughs> she says that on a regular day. <laughs> well, See? anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try. But that's about it. And you criticize my poem? <laughs> <laughs> Mine's about, like, unrequited love and explosions. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so deep. Natsuki's just so on another level. Yeah. I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because... Everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly! I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then make it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess I went more into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Did we all learn something? Did you expect <laughs> I guess that so. from the youngest one here, did you? I guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki's feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Oh, hers was pretty short. Can you grab some water, Ajin? All the reading. Thank you. <laughs> Who did you want to do next? Uh, Monica? Yeah, it's, you. it's your choice. Let's do Monica next. Hi, Dino. Having a good time so far. 
Uh, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. <laughs> Oops, sorry. <laughs> By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? All right, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I'll have to. Ha 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 ha. Don't worry, Dino. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But that's the sort of barrier that we'll all have to learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm -hmm. I like this one. It makes me think of something Sayori would like. Is that so? You and Sayori are really good friends. Or is it, do I sound too much like it? This is just Sayori. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I had that it's problem right. switching between myself and oh, Monica, sure. so... You and Sayori are really good friends, right? I don't know if I'm, like, I should try to do it, like, legit, which is gonna be cringy, or just, like, purposely butcher it, like... I don't know. Mm, doesn't matter. I don't know. I don't know. Try I wouldn't your best. be surprised if you had those sort of things in common. Uh, well, we might may be good friends, but Siori and I are actually really different. Mm. Well, that might be the case. But maybe there are also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. Like the way she talks about you. It sounds like the two of you really care about each other's well-being. Even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you'd think. So I think that's the kind of vibe I get when reading your poem. Thank Elaine you. says, just butcher it. It makes the stream more funny. This isn't a funny game. This is serious mm. literature. It's you sure you're not reading fun. into it too much? Ah ha ha, I could be. Oh my gosh, I sound like Yuri. <laughs> No, you sound like Sayori. But in any case, Sayori's writing has kind of a gentle feel to it. I can tell that she likes exploring with emotions like happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy could enjoy sad things too? Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, to each their own. And you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit either. I'm sure it'll end up trying different. Uh, uh, I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little biased towards their own kind of styles, but I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Ah ha 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 ha. Ah ha ha ha. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to be not very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in the wall. It it couldn't have been. Oh, uh, sure. Sorry, sorry. Okay. I didn't uh, realize. It couldn't have been me. See the dir- Hole in the wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction the spackle protrudes? A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, blind like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It was just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realized <laughs> now that I wasn't looking in, I was looking out. And he on the other side was looking in. Oh. <laughs> oh. Interesting. So what do you think? Hmm. It's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Ah, oh, that's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That says a lot of poems when put an emphasis on the time in between words and lines. Oops. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What's the inspiration be behind this one? Ah, uh, well, I'm not sure how to put it. I guess you could say I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. <laughs> an epiphany? Yeah, something like that. 
I'm kind of nervous to talk about stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about this is this, is if you be pimp spot, you'll get a big dark bottle of ink. <laughs> so just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Good job, Brandon. See, wow, good job. I don't have, like, I could, like, butcher it and add lines <laughs> to it, but I don't have improv skills. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, oh I can press space. Oh my goodness. <laughs> This is so good, Dino. Eh? I love it. I wonder who you impressed with your poem. I had no idea you were such a good writer. Sayori, you must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. <laughs> Jeez. Yuri's opinion was way more constructive than this. Are you sure you don't like it because I wrote it? Eh? Well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know? So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a dino poem! And that makes it feel extra special. Really? <laughs> like I can feel your feelings in <laughs> Sayuri went through puberty. <laughs> Sayuri hugs the sheet against her chest. You're so weird, Sayuri. <laughs> like I barely talk. <laughs> I'm really happy that you just that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Or well, of course, I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See, it's just like I said before, Dino. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this is for other people. That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason why I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah, and I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That'll be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm gonna hold you to that then. Yay! I swear this game gets great. <laughs> now you'll read really? my poem too, right? Don't worry. Or, sorry, Don't worry! <laughs> I'm really bad at this! <laughs> it sounds like something <laughs> I would say! <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, things always start off slow. We trust you. We'll see about that. This is great. Dear sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue, it's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever, but I'm not mad, I want breakfast. Wow. It's a great poem. Whoa. Sayori. A move. This is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? No. Just just a little bit. <laughs> you can't just answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do a last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little bit better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice. Or how should I put it? it sounds just like you. Really? Yeah, especially the last line. I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late to school? It's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyways, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Uh, yeah. The next time I won't forget. And I'm going to write the best poem ever. I, I guess I'll look forward to that. Phew! I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for those mediocre writing abilities. 
Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. I sigh. I guess that's what ended I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayuri and Monica are happy, happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watched each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Oh, sorry. Whoops. <laughs> That's you guys. Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fantasy. Uh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about feeling the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. Hmm. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayuri liked it. And Dino did too. And based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. <clears throat> and Dino liked my poem too. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh? I didn't re realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh? That's not what I... Uh, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Dino appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Yeah. Huh! And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No... If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do <laughs> overly cutesy. <gasps> um... Is everyone okay? Why am I fighting with myself? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? I wasn't the one who's, whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Dino started showing up. <laughs> Oh, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you! I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly, both girls turn towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. Dino, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump, should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Dino. But wait! There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. The only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most... It's the only way to con convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. Do you understand that, right, Dino? Um... Well? How did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. But whoever, whomever I agree with, they'll probably, they'll probably think more highly of me. So, of course, that's going to be... Uh. You can save too. I can save. You can save. You can save at any point as well. Ooh, I don't know. I feel like if I pick a side, they'll yell at me. It's up to you. Ah! I feel like someone's gonna yell at you. You're, <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I liked your poem. See? Wait, that's not an excuse for you to be so mean. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different. That's not what happened at all. Yuri wouldn't even take my poem 
seriously. Mm, I understand, Yuri. Eh? You're you're a seriously talented writer, and it's no secret that I was impressed. Well, that's... But here's the thing: no matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, they're still putting feelings into it, and it becomes something really personal. And that's why Natsuki felt threatened when you said her poem was cute. I see. I didn't notice that one. I'm sorry. See. Oh, sorry. But Natsuki, you took it too far. Yuri means well, but if you just told her how you felt, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Are you kidding? That's exactly what I did. It was her that... Natsuki, I think that's enough. <laughs> you both said some things you didn't mean. Yuri, apologize. Don't you think you should too? Oh, sorry. In the end, <laughs> nobody t has taken her side. She's trapped at this point, being defined only because she can't handle the pressure. I end up feeling bad for her. Um, sometimes when I'm hurt, I take, it helps to take a walk and clear my head. S Sayuri, she doesn't need to. You know what? I'm going to do that. It'll scare me from having to look at all your faces right now. Without warning, Natsuki snatches her own poem up from her desk and storms out. On her way out, she crumples the poem with her hands and throws it into the trash. Natsuki, she really didn't need to do that. I look across the room. Yuri has her chin buried in her hands while she stares down at her desk. I gingerly approach her and sit down in an adjacent chair. Everything alright? I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted like that. You probably hate me now. No, Yuri! How could anyone... Or, how could anyone not have gotten frustrated after being treated like that? You handled it as well as anyone could. I don't think any less of you. Oh... Well, Alright, I believe you. Thanks, Sino. You're too kind. I'm thankful to have a, you as part of this club now. Er, it's nothing. One more thing. Um, that one thing that Natsuki said. About, you know... I would never do anything <laughs> so shameful. <laughs> really? So... <laughs> eh? What did Natsuki say? Never mind that. I'm going to go make some tea. Ah, good idea. Make enough for more than one person, okay? Yeah. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. Dino, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome! <laughs> In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow! I just blanked out there! It's and okay. maybe you learned something from your friends too! So your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself, I did learn a little more about the poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do better impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with my newfound determination. Dino! Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Sayuri beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayuri and I spent this much time together. Can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. S Sayuri, about what happened earlier. What do you mean? Sorry, I blank out too, just like Monica. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Between Yuri and Natsuki? Does that kind of thing happen often? Oh no no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't you don't hate them, do you? I, no, I don't hate them. I just wanted to hear your opinion, that's all. I can see why they make good friends with you. Phew. You know, Dino, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club, but I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone likes you too. That might be a problem. <laughs> That's <laughs> every day is going to be so much fun. 
And looks like Sayuri is still caught up onto, or caught onto, the uh, still hasn't caught onto the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? Well, we'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayuri. Huh? Does that mean? What? I pat Sayuri on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than her, but it's easy to use Sayuri as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. More poems. Mm hmm. Oh, what can I say? So. Spinning? Oh. Yeah. So whatever girl you like, the words will influence like what. So, I don't know if I should say. I it's just kind of a game mechanic thing. Um. This I can only choose from matter. these three. Yeah. Well, it's like it's whatever there. Whatever words will react to those people. But like, the reason why you got that like scene with the button up with Sayori is because she liked your poem. Oh. That, that's so that's well. so I whoever see. you want to have the scenes with, it's like, yeah. Disaster. And Yuri liked that one. Hmm. Dark. Memories, horror, uh, intellectual, misfortune, ambient, uh, dis <laughs> destiny. Hey, some of these words were from the other one, weren't they? Judgment. Yeah, they they'll, they'll repeat words. Oh, maybe. I think so. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I think Master went to Sayuri. Let's see. Anxiety. Darn it! I forgot. What? <laughs> Why are you so evil? Not all the time. <laughs> Inferno. Melancholy. Uh, waterfall. <laughs> <laughs> Another day passes. It's time for club meeting. Thank today. you. <laughs> I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the last couple days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Hi, Dino. Yo, Sayuri. Looks like you're in a good mood today. <laughs> I'm just not used to you being in the club. That's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get you into the uh, in a good mood. But I guess that's always the simple things with you anyway. Speaking of which, I'm kind of hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? No thanks. Yeah? That's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't you, we take a look at your purse, Sayuri? Yeah? What? That all of a sudden? Because you're broke. <laughs> no reason, really. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I just wanted to look at it. Ah. Sayuri nervously retrieves her coin oh, purse. So she fumbles with the latch and gets it open. She turns it upside down and lets its contents spill onto the desk. Only two s small coins fall out. <laughs> I knew it. I can see right through you, Sayuri. That's not fair. How did you even know? How did you know? <laughs> I don't know, I just guessed. She seemed like the kind of person who would be lazy. Uh, what's that word? Like, not reliable and broke all the time. Okay. And sleeps in all the time. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming into the club room. So either you're not hungry or you want an excuse to take a walk. Or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all of your money. So I would lend you some. But here's one more thing. You're always hungry. And so that leaves only one option. Ah, I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. <laughs> <laughs> Yuri suddenly giggles. Eh? I didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face is in the book, or er, in her book all, as always. I wasn't listening or anything. It was just something in my book. Yuri, tell Dino to let me borrow some money. That's... Don't get me involved with that, Sayuri. Besides, 
You should only buy what you can responsibly afford. And frankly, after pulling a mischievous little stuff like that, your suffering is fair enough retribution. Uh, did I just... I didn't mean that. I got too absorbed into my book. Uh. <laughs> I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. There's no way you could think that. You were right, though. I did something bad, and now I have to accept the revolution. Retribution. Resolution. That? <laughs> Still, coming from you, you Sayori. I guess there's a little, little devil inside all of us, isn't there? <laughs> Don't let her fool you. Sayuri knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told me you guys were... Oops. Whoops. You can go to history if you want to Oh, yet. okay. After all, she told she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. But, but you wouldn't have come if you weren't for the cupcakes. So I had to trick Natsuki into making them. Those cupcakes were so good. Come on, give me more credit than that, Sayori. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Out of nowhere, something smacks Sayori in the face and tumbles onto the desk. Ow. That was... Eh? A cookie! Surely enough, the giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Sayuri glances around. Is this a miracle? It's because I paid my restitution. Retribution. Actually, that one almost worked. <laughs> I was just gonna give it to you. But then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing your reaction, though. <laughs> That's a key. That's so nice of you! I'm so happy. Sayuri hugs the cookie and crumbles it. Jeez, just eat it. Sayuri rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. So good! Hmm? Sayuri suddenly clasps her hands over her mouth. I bit my tongue. Oh. You're going through a lot over just one cookie. Natsuki takes a bite of her own cookie. Ah, uh, yours looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Jeez. Beggars can't be choosers. But yours is chocolate. Yeah, why do you think I gave you that one? Fine. Still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. Eh. You can also press space. Oh, <laughs> Sayuri gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki, then wraps her arms around her. Ah, jeez. I get it, I get it. Cookie still in hand, Natsuki reaches up to nudge Say Sayuri off of her. Oh. Sayuri suddenly leans down and takes a bite out of Natsuki's cookie. Hey! Did you seriously just do that? Mm-hmm. Mouthful, Sayuri trots away to safety. Yuri and I laugh as well. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sayuri? Eh? Natsuki glances around. Monica isn't in the club room. Uh, where is Monica anyway? Is she dead? Good question. <laughs> Good question. <laughs> Have any of you heard anything about her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't either. Hmm. That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She probably just had something to do today. She's pretty popular after all. Eh? You don't think she has a... <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. Eh, that's true. Excuse me? Suddenly, the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Oh, she's alive! Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I'm here, I was gonna say, maybe that's the I reason why Monica isn't an option when you're choosing a corpse. Oh, she's the first to die. <laughs> I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Eh? Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong-willed. Boy, boyfriend? What on earth are you talking about? Monica quizzically glances at me. Ah, never mind that. What held you up anyway? Ah. Uh, well, my fear today was in a study hall. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. Ah. That makes sense. 
makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Oh, uh, I don't really. I just started recently. I always wanted to learn piano. Suspicious. That's cool. You should play something for us, Monica. She killed someone. <laughs> That's... Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little better, I will. Yay! That sounds cool. I, I'd also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Dino. Monica smiles sweetly. Ah, uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Ah, uh, don't worry. Uh, just me and my brain issues. It is the what? It is <laughs> blank it out. Oh, I can. I've go been back. practicing a whole lot. No, no, it's like I read it. <laughs> oh. I thought just, I missed just, the No, line. just because I, I, I was like, what? Oh. <laughs> I've been practicing a whole lot recently, and I'd really love the chance to share it once I'm ready. I see. In case, in that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not really. I chose to leave Sayuri's mischievous escapade. I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway. It looks like everyone has already settled down. Sayuri somehow already finished her entire cookie. Yuri's back to her book and Natsuki disappeared into the closet. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little more, but at the same time I feel bad for distracting her from reading. I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It looks the same book er, it looks like the same book that she lent me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Uh. Crap. I think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me. Our eyes meet for a split second. But that only makes her hide her face deeper into her book. So sorry I was just spacing out. I muttered the sensing that I made her uncomfortable. Oh, it's fine. If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this. So... That's the book you gave me, right? Mm -hmm. I wanted to reread re some of it. Not for any particular reason. Just oh. just curious, how come you have two copies of the same book? Uh, well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday, that's not what I meant. I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. I see. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decided to let it go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What's it about anyway? Well... Mm. Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Alright. I just wanted to make sure I don't accidentally give anything away. Basically, it's about this girl in high school who moves in with her long-lost younger sister. But as soon as she does so, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escape from a human experiment prison. And while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships, and her life starts to fall apart. That's kind of... that's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came out of nowhere. <laughs> Yuri gently giggles all of a sudden. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Diamond? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that those kinds of stories, they challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen not just because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals or their own philosophy that they believe in. Then suddenly, when you thought you related to the protagonist, they're made out to be the naive one for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. Oh. I'm... I'm rambling right now. It's not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. 
But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. Elaine says she read reclusive as repulsive. She gets so quiet and repulsive on the outside. Oh How rude. <laughs> Please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I don't really think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. At the least I can do is listen. It's a literature club after all. Uh, that's, uh, that's true. In fact... Might as well get started reading it, right? You don't have to. Ah, <laughs> what are you saying? Just a moment ago, you were say you said you were looking forward to it. Just let me get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I had put into my bag. All right, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Uh, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with someone. I see. Well then, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. All right. I open my book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not particularly a bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It's like she's reading for my book instead. Sorry! I was just... Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I, I do? I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean... <laughs> Here, this should work, right? I slide my desk up until it's up against Yuri's, and then hold my book more between the two of them. Uh, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we lean, er, we each lean into, bleh. Once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Oh, whoops. Oh, Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and her forefinger. Ah, I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way I turn a page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it, it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Eh? To turn the page. Ah, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face once more and our eyes meet. Don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Uh, that's okay. You're not used, you're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's the, probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me? Y yeah, thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume she finishes the page before me, so I turn into er, turn it by my own volit volition. volition. I continue the first chapter in silence. Or we continue. Even so, turning each page almost felt like an intimate exchange. My thumb Gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might sound a little silly- or this might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. You think so? How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways, but I guess she also second guesses a lot of things that she says and does. Like she's afraid she'll do something wrong. It's not like I can see into your head or anything, but they're kind of reminiscent of s er, of some of your mannerisms. Let's see. Yuri remained silent for a moment. But Dino, that's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. This is a foreshadowing. <laughs> uh, so embarrassing that you think that. Well, wait. I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. 
Sorry, I really didn't know if you were self-conscious about that sort of thing. I guess I me I more meant that it's kind of cute. Uh, what are you saying all of a sudden? I... Oh, sorry. Oops. Okay, everyone. I think it's about time we share today's poems with each other. Oh, yeah, yeah. We might not have enough time if we wait too long. Uh, Yuri ex exhales, spared from finishing her finishing her thought. Is that all right, Yuri? You're kind of down. I'm sorry if you haven't been looking forward to this. Uh, it's not. It's fine. Yuri releases her hand from the book, causing it to close on top of my thumb. All right. I guess I'll do more of some or do some more reading tonight. Or would you prefer I read it only with you? Um I guess I don't have too much of a preference either. Mm hmm In that case, I'll read a little more tonight. It'll be fun to read with you once it picks up a, a bit, you know? That's a good reason. In that case, feel free to finish the first two chapters on in your own time. Alright. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, and then slip it slip it back into my bag. What should we do? Oh, I do need to use the question though, so probably not masking or here. Not? <laughs> Hi again, Dino. How's the poetry going? Alright, I guess. Take that. As long as it's not going bad. I'm happy you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. Uh -huh, I wouldn't count on that. Never know. You want to share what you wrote for today? Sure, here you go. I give my poem to Monica. Alright. Great job, Dino. I was going ooh in my head while eating it. <laughs> it's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way, it always counts wh when I put some effort in. Ah, uh, that's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Oh, Elaine's gonna go to bed. Good night, Elaine! Uh, see <laughs> writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Unlike Sayuri, who likes using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness. Yuri likes it when readers are left to derive their own meaning out of it. It's very challenging to write like that effectively. Both allowing people to get something out of it just by feel. While letting them deeply analyze all of the new nuances. I can take years of practice, which I am assuming Yuri has had at this point. I never really asked though. I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. Don't worry so much about that. Do your own thing. Just keep exploring and learn by trying new things. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. All uh, right, let's take a look. Holy cow, it's long. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's, it's not. Save me, the colors won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors, flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue, an endless c cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop, violent, Grating waveforms, squeaking, screeching, piercing, sine, cosine, tangent, like playing a what? chalkboard on a turntable, like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust, an endless poem of meaningless. Load me. What? I thought you were making up the sine, cosine, tangent part. No, that's in there. It's in there. Mm -hmm. Should I click? Mm hmm. Hmm. <laughs> It's even more abstract than your last one, huh? Ah, I guess I just I'm sorry if you don't like it. No, I never said that. It's just kind of a thing I've never seen before, I guess. I kind of feel like playing with this, my space on the paper. Choosing where and how to space your words can totally change the mood of the poem. It's almost like magic. The way I wrote the lines are really short makes it feel like they're trying to speak over the noise. I it's, see. It's so, so hard for me to tell what's <laughs> about what it's about, though. Uh, sometimes asking what a poem is about isn't the right question. A poem can be as abstract as a physical expression of a feeling, or a conversation with the reader. So putting it that way, not every poem is about something. Anyway, 
Here's Monica's rating tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You'll never know when you might change your mind or when something unexpected may happen. Foreshadowing. Wait, is this even a, is this tip even about writing? What am I even talking about? Ah, that's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. So what does that even say, Dino? What does that say, Dino? I should save. <laughs> save. You would... Sorry, I thought the poem was longer, so I started eating. <laughs> uh, that's okay. Do you want new slot or? Empty slot. Empty? Sure, empty. You want to show it to you? Mm -hmm. Did you say bye to me? Mm-hmm. I choose. That's okay, I guess. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I like your last one better. Really? Well, yeah, I can tell you were a little more, more daring with this one. But you're really not good enough for that yet. It fell flat. That may be true, but I just wanted to try something different. I'm still tr figuring this all out. I mean, I always like poems that aren't trying too hard. I hate when people try to sound fancy or add more meaning just by using annoying and complicated language. Just make it simple and cute and to the point. Yuri's head over heels for all this cryptic nonsense, but I see right through that BS. Ha! Huh. Making your reader look so hard for all this deep meaning is just an excuse to have no meaning at all. I guess that's one way to look at it. Well, everyone has their own opinion. But my opinion is the best opinion. I'm sure you figured that out already. Err. Uh, anyway, here's my poem. Maybe you'll learn something. Amy, Amy likes spiders. <laughs> you know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky, wriggly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends <laughs> with her. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing in my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time, I hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me up and took me to a nurse. I tried not to let her touch me. She likes spiders, so her hands are probably hurt. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. One of her friends does like spiders too. That's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if it doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. <laughs> She's gross. The world is better off without spider lovers. And I'm going to tell everyone. Are all the poems the same? Or are they different? <laughs> um, th my choices, I never saw this poem. But oh, they are okay. the same. Oh, okay. By choice. By my choices that I made, I never actually saw this poem. But they <laughs> this are one's the same. pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. <laughs> yesterday's was way too short. I was just warming up. I hope you didn't think that was the best I could do. No, of course not. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I doubt I have to explain it. <laughs> <laughs> you can explain issues with much simpler kind of analogy. That's why we're not friends. <laughs> and it helps people realize how stupid they're being. Like, anyone would agree that the subject of this poem is an ignorant jerk. Do you know people like that? Of course. It's about how everyone thinks why... That doesn't matter. It can be about anything. I wrote it to be easy to relate to. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or a guilty pleasure. Something that you're afraid of people find out. They'd make fun of you or think less of you. But that just makes people stupid. Who cares what someone likes, as long as they're not hurting anyone and it makes them happy? I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. You're definitely right. At least I can relate to that. And I'm sure a lot of people can too. It's what I do best, after all. I don't like writing unless there's a good message to take away from it. Like, conveying emotions is important. But I want to make people think, not just feel. Remember that. I'm going to write a good one for tomorrow, too, so look forward to it. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. It's a great poem. It's brilliant. Yeah. Let's see what you've written for today. Yuri st stares at the poem with a surprised expression on her face. Do you like it? Diamond, how did you pick up on this so quickly? 
just yesterday I was telling you the kind of techniques we're practicing. Maybe that's why you did a good job of explaining. I really wanted to try giving it more imagery. Yuri visibly swallows. Her hands appear sweaty. I'm not used to this. Used to what? I don't know. It's fine. Take your time. Yuri breathes and collects her thoughts. I know that Yuri likes to think before she speaks, so I offer her patience to uh, that yeah, patience to her. <laughs> yeah, we got it. Just being appreciated like this, I guess. It probably sounds really stupid, but seeing someone motivated by my writing, it just makes me really happy. Are you saying you've never shared your writing before? Yuri nods. Really? I don't believe it. I really only write for myself. And besides, people would just laugh at me. Do you really think that? Again, Yuri nods. Huh. Even your closest friends? Yuri doesn't respond to that. I wonder why. Anyway, do you want to share the poem you wrote today? Yeah, I do. It fits with you. Oh, wow. It happened in the dead of night while I was slicing bread for a guilty snack. My attention was caught by the stuttering of a raccoon outside my window. That was, I believe, the first time I noticed my strange tendencies as an unordinary human. I gave the raccoon a piece of bread. My sub subconscious, well aware of the consequences, well aware that a raccoon that is fed will always come back for more. The enticing beauty of my cutting knife was the symptom, the bread, my hungry curiosity, the raccoon, and urge. The moon increments its phase and reflects that much more light off of my cutting knife. The very same light that glistens in the eyes of my raccoon friend. I slice the bread, fresh and soft. The raccoon becomes excited. Or perhaps I'm merely projecting my emotions onto the newly satisfied animal. The raccoon has taken to following me. You could say that we've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently, so my bread is always handy. Every time I brandish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows me its excitement. A rush of blood. Classic Pavlovian conditioning. I slice the bread and I feed myself again. Whoa. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, mm, interesting. interesting. I think I like this character already. I know! <laughs> I was a little more daring with this one than yesterday. I can see that. It's a lot more metaphorical. I don't know if it's my fault, but I can't begin to imagine what this poem is about. That's right. It's a bit closer to my preferred writing style. Using the poem as a canvas to express vivid imagery and conveying emotions through them. Yeah, if I take it at face value, then I can even figure out what it's supposed to mean. Well, I think it's something that different people can relate to in their own way. I wanted to express the way it feels for me to indulge in my more unusual hobbies. It's those sorts of things I'm usually forced to keep to myself, so I sometimes enjoy writing about them. Huh, that's funny. Didn't Datsky also write something about that? Some About someone being ridiculed for a strange interest? Yeah, she, she did. Yeah. She was talking about how it doesn't matter what you're into as long as you're not hurting anybody. She's right! I mean... Does she really feel that way? Yeah. Sounds like you two have that in common. That's... well... that's interesting. To me, she seemed like the kind of person who would make fun of my hobbies. But I suppose that's my fault for judging, isn't it? Ah, uh, please don't tell her I said that. Haha, <laughs> don't worry. I have no reason to. Okay. Well, thank you for sharing it with me. After all, if I hadn't learned to embrace my own weirdness, I would probably hate myself. I might be ranting a little bit now, but I'm glad you're a good listener. How many more of these poems do we have? Uh, what do you mean? Like, how many sets of poems do we have usually in a playthrough? Like, in the entire that? thing, mm -hmm. uh, there's too much variance, I think. Oh, okay. Oh, I like this one now. 
Yeah, it has some nice views in it. I'm glad. Didn't you mostly Still choose though? like really dark themes? Your tone makes it sound like you liked yesterday's poem better. Yeah, I guess you caught me. Sometimes you know me a little too well for my own good. Oh, sorry. That yeah, was just was you, Well, don't try to be nice about it. Don't just try to be nice about it. If I'm doing a bad job, then I'd rather just hear it. No, no. I still like this one, uh, I promise. Yeah, you know I wouldn't lie to you, Dino. Never ever. Yeah, I guess so. What made yesterday's poem so great com compared to this one, then? Um, well, I'm not very good at figuring out poems if poems are good or bad, but that's why I just go by my heart. If it makes me feel things, then it must be a good poem. I'm not sure that's exactly how it works, but then again, I guess conveying feelings is a pretty important part of this whole thing. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, I don't even know what kind of writing you like in the first place. Yeah, me neither. Uh, oh. Uh, <laughs> why don't you at least give, or at least try giving it some thought? Oh, you want me to? You want? Okay, that's oh, sweet. Sorry, sorry. No, that's fine. Nothing good. <laughs> yeah, right. But you're always thinking about other people. You need to think about yourself once in a while. If you don't, you might end up getting hurt at some point. Eh? Well, I don't really know what you mean, but I'll try to keep it in mind. Well, whatever. Anyway, let's see. Hmm. I guess I like happy poems. Wait, sometimes I like sad poems too. Sometimes a little bit of both. That's a word. There's a word for that, right? That's what. What's the word I'm looking for? Bittersweet. Yeah. I like things that are happy and things that are sad. Happy and. Bo happy and sad? I can't <laughs> see you liking something sad, Sayuri. Well, I like happy the most. I also like this water, but sometimes when you have a little rain cloud in your head. So can I pour the water on you? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. I have some. A sad poem can help give me a the, the, the hug. A sad poem can help give the rain cloud a little hug and make a nice happy rainbow. Sorry, that's unexpectedly poetic. It, it is. Maybe I'm getting better at expressing my feelings after all. Thanks, Dino. I should go write that down then. You can read my poem now, okay? Bottles. I pop off my scalp. Like the lid of a cookie <laughs> jar. It's the secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and pluck one out. It's warm and tingly, but there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe, and I put it up the bottle on the shelf with all the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts in bottles all in a row. My collection makes me lots of friends. Each bottle a starlight to make amends. Sometimes my friend feels a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save the day. Night after night, more dreams. Friend after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper my fingers go. Like exploring a dark cave, discovering the secrets, hiding in the rocks, the nooks and crannies. Digging and digging, scraping and scraping. I blow dust off my bottle caps. It doesn't feel like time elapsed. My empty shelves could use some more. My friends look through my locked front door. Finally, all done, I open up and in come my friends. In they come in such a hurry. Do they want my bottles that much? I frantically pull them from the shelf, one after the other, holding them out to each and every friend, each and every bottle. But every time I let one go, it shatters against the tile beneath oh. my, between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, and shards all over the floor. They were supposed to be for my friends, my friends who aren't smiling. They're all shouting, pleading, something. But all I hear is echo, 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 echo inside my head. Oh, holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> Sayuri, did you really write this? Of course I did. Didn't I tell you yesterday I was going to write the best poem ever? Yeah, but I didn't expect something like this coming from you. Monica taught me a whole lot, and I've been really in touch with my feelings recently. I see that. It's almost kind of creepy. Creepy? Well, not exactly. Maybe it's because I'm so used to you being so cheerful. Well, never mind. I'm thinking too hard about it. The point is, it came, er, it came out good, so you should be proud of it. Aw, thanks. I feel like I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. It help, even helps me understand my own feelings a little bit better. Writing is like magic. Well, you've gotten pretty passionate about this, huh? I hope you keep it up. Yeah, writing's the best. I'm gonna keep writing till I die. <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself. <laughs> Sayuri's always 
had a habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping it into er, dropping it no more than a week later. I wonder if this is one of those times. But seeing the passion in your eyes makes it hard for me to be pessimistic. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? I have some extra planned today, so if everyone could come and sit at the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Oh, yeah, sorry. I keep blanking out. I don't know why. It's, it's okay, Monica. That You've happened. had a long day. Well, right sort now. of. <laughs> uh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparation. Don't worry so much. We're gonna keep it up simple, okay? We're gonna keep it simple, okay? We won't need much more than a few decorations. Sayuri has been working on posters and I've designed some pamphlets we can give out during the event. Okay, that's great and all. But that doesn't even tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event. Ah, uh, sorry, I thought I heard about it. I thought you heard about it already. We're going to be performing. Performing? <laughs> um, Monica? Yeah, we're going to be having a poetry performance. Each of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is, we're also going to let anyone else come up and recite poems too. So I'm always putting it on all the posters in case anyone wants to prepare some a uh, repair ahead of time. Hehehe. <laughs> Sayuri, who's been coloring a poster, holds it up for us to see. Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't... you didn't already start putting those posters up, did you? Uh, well, I did. Do you really think it's that bad of an idea? Well, no. It's not a bad idea. But I didn't sign up for this, you know? There's no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. I agree with Natsuki. I could never, in my life... Do something like that. Imagining it. Oh, sorry. Imagining it, Yuri shakes her head in fear. Guys, no, sir. I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Natsuki and Yuri have never shared their poems with anyone until just a couple days ago. It's a lot to ask for them to recite their poems out loud for to a whole room of to a whole room full of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that. I'm so sorry. But I still think we should give it our best. We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. If we start the event and each put on a good performance, then it will inspire others to do the same. And the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone what the literature what literature is all about. Yeah, it's about expressing your feelings, being intimate with yourself, finding new horizons, and having fun. That's right. And those reasons that we're all in this club today. Oh my god, my voice is dying for the we <laughs> all in this club today. Don't you want to share that with others? To inspire them to find the same feeling you that brought you here in the first place? You, I know you do. I know we all do. And if it takes, if all it takes is standing in front of a room for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know you can do it. Natsuki and Yuri remain silent. Sayuri looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Sayuri and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. The least we can do is help them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but... It looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. Uh, okay, fine. I guess I'll just have to get it over with. Alright. Who? Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? Yuri dejectedly glances around at everyone else's expectant faces. I, I guess I don't really have a choice. Aha! That's everyone! You're the best, Yuri! This club is seriously going to be the death of me. Oh my gosh, you'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. No, no way! Monica, this is too sudden. Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Oh. Don't worry. I'll start off to help everyone feel a little more comfortable. 
Can I go next? Ah, of course. Now let's see. Monica flips through her notebook to the specific poem she has in mind for herself. Then she stands behind the podium. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. Um, Monica, well, oh, that's you. <laughs> it's okay. Monica begins reciting her poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her in inflection is pristine. She knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. Is this something she's done before, or is she simply a natural? I glance around me. Everyone has their eyes to Monica. Sayuri looks amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica finishes her rec rec recitation. The four of us applaud. Monica takes a breath and smiles. That was so good, Monica! Ah, uh, thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go next, Sayori? I will go next. What? Yuri gets fired up all of a sudden! Yuri clutches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Keeping her head down, she quickly walks over to the podium. This poem is called... Yuri anxiously glances up at us, each of us. You can do it, Yuri! It's called After Image of the Crimson Arm. Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reciting the poem, or reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? As Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Her quivering words transform into sharp syllables of fierce and confident woman. The poem is full of twists and turns in its structure that she enunciates with perfect timing. This must be a rare glimpse into the whirling fire Yuri keeps concealed inside her heart. Suddenly she's finished. Everyone's stunned. Yuri snaps back into reality and glances around her, as if she's be bewildered herself. Hi. It's up to me to save this situation. I'm the first to start applauding. Everyone joins me afterwards and we give Yuri the recognition she deserves. It's not like we didn't want to applaud for her, but we're caught off- or we're ca caught so off guard that we must have forgotten. As we applaud, Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rushes back into her seat. Yuri, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. Looks like Yuri is down for the count. Okay, I guess I'm next then. Sayuri so hops out of your chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. This one's called My Meadow. Ah, ah, sorry I googled. Hee <laughs> Sayori. It's a lot harder than I thought. How did you guys do it so easily? Ah, try not to think of it like you're reciting to other people. Imagine you're reciting to yourself, like in front of a mirror or in your own head. If it's your, it's your poem, so I'll come out the best that way. I see, I see. Okay then. Sayuri begins her poem. Somehow it feels like her soft voice was made for a perfect match. The poem isn't aimlessly cheerful like Sayuri is. It's serene and bittersweet. If I were to read this on paper, I wouldn't mind, or I would, probably wouldn't think of it much. But hearing it from Sayuri's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. Maybe this is what Sayuri meant when she said she likes my poems. It's like I get to reach more deeply into someone I thought I knew through and through. Sayuri finishes, and we applaud. I did it! Good job, Sayori. E even Dino liked it. I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? It came out nicely, <laughs> Sayori. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. But it might be that other poems wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. Eh, yeah, I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours where that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. They might need a little more force behind them, depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean! <laughs> Sorry. That's, well, I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do it in front of everyone. Hee 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 hee. Next time, I'm going to make you pick a poem that challenges you a little more. You don't have much time before the festival, you know? Okay! Now, who's next? That's cute. Hmm. Don't make me go before Dino. It's not like I can I can compare to you guys anyway. Might as well let Dino lower everyone's standards a little before I do it. Sure. That's your key. It's fine, it's fine. I might as well get it over with. 
It's not like I have much of a selection of what to read. I'll just have to go with what I wrote for today. I stand up and step in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. I recite my poem. Since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, it's hard to put, some, put energy into it. Despite that, once I finish, I receive applause anyway. Sorry, I'm not really as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. I think it's less about your abilities and more about your lack of confidence in your writing. That's something that'll improve over time, though. Yeah, maybe. All right, then. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. Natsuki begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. The poem is called... It's called... Why are you all looking at me? That's a nice title. Because you're presenting. Oh. Because you're presenting. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the poem is called Jump. Natsuki takes a breath. Once she starts reciting the poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. While she's still a little in unenthusiast, unenthused. unenthused, her poem has a rhythm and rhyme to it. It's Natsuki's trademark style and it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. The words feel like they bounce up and down, as if giving them life into the poem. Natsuki finishes and everyone applauds. She hops back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You'd better not make me do that again. Ah, uh, well, did you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? I mean, doing it in front of other people would be way easier. I can put on whatever face I want for other people. But when it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing. That's a surprise, Natsuki. I think it would be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is, so... Well, I guess in that case, you won't have much to worry about for the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope that you all have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. Jeez, I should probably find some other poem to recite instead. That's fine too. It doesn't ha have to be your own. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting all this effort in for the club. It makes me really happy. Yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today. Now the festival's coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's all been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we're finished. We're, we'll finish planning tomorrow, then we'll have the weekend pre to prepare. I can't talk anymore. Monday's <laughs> the big day. I can't wait! I can do this. I can do this. Alright. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Sayuri and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it. If it's for the sake of the club and impressing Monica, then I'll do my best. Ready to go, Sayuri? Oh, oh sorry. wait. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why I'm so ready to go. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, I talked to you. You invited mom. yourself. I know. <laughs> Kind of adorable, isn't it? Hee <laughs> hee! Jeez, guys. Don't make such a big deal out of it. You must be a little nice kid. Well, ah. Uh, how am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, Dino. You don't have to say it. Whatever. Let's go already. I walk home with Sayuri once more. Even though it's been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today, Sayuri's a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey, Sayuri. Sorry, I was spacing out. Ah, uh, no wonder. Um, I was thinking about something from earlier. I like how we get to... I mean... Sayuri fumbles with her words. So let's just say that one day Yuri asked to walk home with you. Huh? What would you do? What kind of question is that? You're putting me on the spot here. <laughs> what would you do? <laughs> mm, you can also say the letter. Oh yeah, Do you wanna say? I can say. Yeah, let's say. Mm -hmm. I'll walk home with can you. Can you save or like... Uh, or... Empty slot's fine. Okay. Yeah. There's like yep. so many pages for there. empty slots. And... Sure, I'll walk home with... Actually, I feel like I'll get a bad end if I say... Um... Go... Okay, don't... 
do make the like don't don't go for the ending go for like, the heart is saying it's poetry yuri <laughs> okay saw yuri really no you're mm, i need to flip a card for this one really what is <laughs> yuri <laughs> <laughs> walking home with yuri huh why does the thought of that make my heart pound I mean... chose the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Given how hard Cause... it is for her to socialize, I feel awful turning her down, so... Isn't she so beautiful and smart? It has nothing to do with what uh, I just said. <laughs> ah, okay. you admitted it. Jeez. There's not even any point in speculating something that's never going to happen. Well, maybe. But I just like to think about it. It's not before long you won't need me anymore, you know need you sayuri i can't figure out what you, how you're seeing things in your head right now sorry everyone is different no one in the club is a replacement for you hmm if you say so the conversation trails off and i'm left feeling awkward but it was kind of her fault for trapping me with such a weird question i can't just lie to her but if there's something that makes her happy i would hate to take that away from her that's why I said there's no point in speculating. Then again, the festival's only a few days away. Who knows what will happen in that time. Yeah, it's because I just thought of it just like it's hanging out. So I was like, oh, she wants to walk home. Okay, I'll just walk home. No. That's, that's why I picked that way. So she asked, I was like, okay, no problem. Nice. Headphones. I, I, I don't know. You, you're songs. still, yeah, 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 okay. <laughs> Are you still going for Yuri? Yeah, I'll probably okay, go for her. Okay. Unstable. Okay. Uh, uncontrollable disarray. Yeah, you're getting disaster. It. You know how to. I know appeal how to. to you. <laughs> Judgment. Oh yeah, there you go. Uh, grief. Oh, there it. <laughs> Disorientated. Yeah. Uh, graveyard. Uh, secretive. Whisper. Oh, oops. Uh, hopeless. Oh, there it. A tone. Broken. Not quite it. Really? You used that in the first one too. I can't remember. After image. Destiny. Kawaii. <laughs> <laughs> I chose it anyway. Yeah. Oh man. Last I'm the last one here again. Stop being late. Yeah, I'm <laughs> sorry, worry, I, I blank out a lot. <laughs> Yeah. Uh -huh. Suspicious. You must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking up piano? Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Remember that this club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival, too. I can't wait for the festival. It's gonna be great. Oh, yeah? Weren't you complaining about it just yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival, but it's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. You sound a little bit like Sayuri all of a sudden. Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on! Are you saying you don't like squid? You, of all people? Yeah, I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because it's right in your name. Mon e ka. Eh? That's not how you say my name at all. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's why Monica is spelled like that. <laughs> I get it. Ah, uh, never mind. If I'm not mistaken, I think Ika is it's squid yeah. in Japanese, yeah. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? <laughs> oh, that's not me. <laughs> <laughs> so. Your reactions aren't as fun as Yuri's or Sayuri's anyway. Excuse me? Where is Sayuri anyway? Oh, there you are. Sayuri's sitting at, the d at a desk in the corner of the room looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayuri. I wave my hand in front of her face. Uh -huh. You're spacing out again. Oh, uh, sorry. Don't mind me. 
You can go talk to everyone else. Huh? Is everything all right? Oh, of course. Why wouldn't it be? It feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Sayuri shows me a big smile. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone else. It's because you said you were well, with Yuri. Alright, if you say so. I weirdly glance at Sayuri before turning back towards everyone else. But the conversation has already dispersed with everyone back at their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Sayuri recently. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must have been spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monica, who's shuffling through some papers at her desk. Dino, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with Sayuri recently? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading into it a little bit too much, but she seems a little downcast lately. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica peers across the room at Sayuri, who's idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. Maybe there's something on her mind. But I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Dino. But there, you certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really liked this. She's always talked to me about things that bothered her. But this time, when I asked her, she, sound, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me, too. I mean, I'm also friends with her, and I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know? Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Eh? Are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just had a hard time bringing it up with a person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Dino. Me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but Sarah talks about you more than anything else, you know? Eh? She's been so much happier ever since you've joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. What? No way. Sayuri is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not like any different than it has always has been. <laughs> You're so funny, Dino. Have you ever thought of being a comedian? <laughs> Have you ever thought that maybe you've always been... You've always seen her as so cheerful? I thought I would be more of a magician than a comedian. <laughs> because that's just how she is when she's around you. Uh, I said too much. I'm sorry, what do I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you should just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Uh, alright. Monica smiles meaningfully. I know she said to forget it, but I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Sayuri is sitting. I watch her kneel down to Sayuri and gently talk to her, but she's keeping her voice so quiet I can't hear her from here. I sigh and sit myself down. I know Sayuri told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everyone else, but that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly, how much do I care about her that I'm letting my or er, letting this weigh me down so much? Now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary, but there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Why does it feel like I'm being watched? Glance around the room. Suddenly I notice Yuri peering at me from over her book. She looks away just as quickly as a flustered look on, on her face. I realize that she won't get anywhere like this. I've never really seen Yuri approach anyone or start conversation on her own accord, so I have no choice but to approach her myself. By now, it's a little easier for me to do that. I stand up from my desk and sit in one next or next to her own. I, I didn't mean to bother you or anything. Relax, you didn't even do anything. But I could tell that you wanted to be alone with your thoughts. Alone with my thoughts? How are you able... Or how are you even able to tell that I was thinking like that? Well, it's something that I do a lot. So it wasn't hard for me to spot based on your posture and expression. N not that I was staring or anything. I didn't do anything creepy like that. In any case, I guess you were right. I'm sorry if I caused you any concern. Don't apologize. 
Your troubles are only the concern of those who are who willingly share in that concern. Of course, there are certainly those who find the most comfort in keeping to themselves. But if you would prefer to share what's on your mind, then I would be glad to listen. Uh, it's not really that big of a deal. I'm just feeling a little uneasy about Sayuri. Sayuri? Yeah, she seems a little off today, but when I asked her about it, she didn't want to admit it to me. So I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Oh? That's quite romantic. Eh? Yeah. Sorry! I didn't mean to say anything stupid. It's not that, I just didn't want you to misunderstand. Sayuri and I have always been friends for a long time, that's all. Ah, uh, I see. Then perhaps it is unusual for her to be dismissive to you about her feelings? Or maybe I'm just reading into it a little too much. Diamond, the world is full of meaning, often hidden deep beneath plain sight. And there are many untold mysteries behind every person, no matter how. Oh, sorry. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> no matter how well you may know them. Ah. So you think there might be something behind it after all? Mm. I think that Sayuri is a very complex person. Her mannerisms on the outside don't always match what they may be going on inside her head, as she may not always know what she wants. I noticed her strange behavior today too, and I also feel some concern for her. But in your case, it looked like she was fully occupying your thoughts, wasn't she? Well, I guess that was the case. Sayuri, she really means a lot to you, doesn't she? Uh, I guess. But you don't need to put it that way. We're just good friends, that's all. Yuri suddenly looks deeply into my eyes. Her expression is gentle and curious, as if she was searching for something. Embarrassed, I avert my gaze. Sometimes, a person's mysteries are untold even to themselves. And you, as someone honest and caring, may uncover feelings you weren't aware of for, for you. Th that is... I think that she would be a very fortunate person to have you feel that way about her. Yuri, you're giving me too much credit. I'm a pretty simple guy, so I think I'm pretty good at understanding bleh, understanding my own feelings. I'm not nearly as sophisticated as you. Uh, that's not a compliment, is it? It is what it is. Anyways, as long as we're here, why don't we do some reading? Well, as long as you're okay with me. Yeah, I should be taking my mind off of this whole thing anyway. Why don't we go ahead and get started? Yes, let's. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. There's Is she gonna die? <laughs> no, no, I'm just, just thinking. Just thinking There's going. one thing that can make my reading time here any better. It's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with the filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk and then we'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contracts contrasts her speaking mannerisms, especially because of her long legs. Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. I might as well walk with you. Yeah, why not? Shall we go then? Yeah. Hmm, where are you two off to? Yeah. Eh? Oh. We're just- Yuri's going to make some tea, so I suddenly realize how weird it sounds trying to explain this to Monica. We're just filling the water pitcher. Ah, okay. Sorry, I was just a bit curious. It's kind of a one-person job, isn't it? That's... Monica, <laughs> please mind your own business, friends. Yeah. Or do you want to tell me there's something wrong with helping me involve violent activities? Eh? My mouth gapes. I... I suppose there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Oh dear. Then, let's go, Diamond. Ah, Yuri quickly exits the room and I follow. 
Oh no. <laughs> Once in the hallway, she suddenly puts her forehead against the wall. I spoke without thinking. How could I say something like that? Yuri. I just... Something about the way she said that. It made me feel so irritated. What's wrong with me? No, Yuri. I think you did the right thing. I wasn't expecting it, but... It's also not right for Monica to judge people like that. I know. How come even when I do something bad, you're being nice to me? Because nothing you say you do is as bad as you make it seem like in your head. Nobody is perfect. We have emotions and we can't always hide them away. But you always amplify things in your head. Your mind turns a light rain shower into a hurricane. Uh, no. Wouldn't you hate me for something as terrible as that? Why would I hate you? I can't hate someone for having emotions. What kind of friend would do that? Friend, you say? Um... Yuri lifts her head. I know. I really like being friends with you. Ah ha ha ha. Thanks, Yuri. I like being friends with you, too. I feel kind of awkward saying something like that. But I'm doing my best to help Yuri feel better. Anyway! Uh, yeah. Shall we go? Yeah. Yuri and I walk to the nearest water fountain. Once we fill up the pitcher, we return to the classroom. Dino, do you like the tea? Uh, yeah. Anything's fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this, or you really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything? <laughs> In that case, you'll only be even more impressed. Ah, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You seem to be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show, and you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking, and I decided I would try expressing myself a little bit more. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do. When it's you who is around anyway. Ah. That's great, Yuri. Don't, just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Dino. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know how I can keep up with this. I watch Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Dino, I have another request. Do you mind if I we sit on the floor today? Why is that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall, rather than bending over at my desk. Ah, uh, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have to, I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to ma manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's most likely because my, uh, I... Your posture, right? Always hunched over like that while reading? Yes! I have terrible reading posture. Suspicious. Suspicious! So that's why you must sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieved the book from my bag. I have some chocolate as well. It's, small, uh, it's a bag of small chocolate candies that I kept hidden from Sayuri's candy radar. I take it, since it'll go well with the tea. Yuri and I then sit against the wall, tea cups at our sides. As if in sync, we assume that the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book, except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well. Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri's always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your tea cup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand that's not holding the book, I end up within a position that makes it even harder to focus, because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression, and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all my willpower to focus on reading. After a few, min f there, few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Ah, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. 
You can have as much as you want. Ah, that's, that's okay, I won't take any. It? Are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then it might get smudges on the pages. Ah, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't have any harder of a time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri is already totally focused on reading again. I take a cho chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Then I take another chocolate and hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if this situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did... did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Um... I know. Sorry! I guess I shouldn't have done that. Uh, that's... well... If you were just helping... Is that something that friends do, right? I mean... Not really in this kind of context, but... Yeah! That's all it was. Yeah... Then, you don't need to stop her anything. I see. The situation has gotten really tense. Yuri tries to return to the book, but I can tell just by her expression that she can't even focus now. My heart is pounding. I nervously take another chocolate between my fingers, but this time Yuri's eyes meet mine. How did it even come to this? Yuri doesn't even doesn't avert her gaze. I notice her chest rising and falling to the rhythm of her breaths. I raise my arm. Just like before, Yuri parts her lips, but this it's different this time. I take the chocolate and place it into her mouth. I feel her hot breath on my fingers. Okay, everyone! <laughs> ah! Ah! Yuri jumps back. It's time to share poems. They were watching us. Dino, you can help Yuri put away the tea stuff, right? Yeah, of course. Okay, thanks. The spell is abruptly broken. I'll take care of the cups. Yeah. Yuri picks up the teacups from the floor. I pick up the bag of chocolates. In the end, we hastily clean up without so much as a word between us. I get the feeling that this is something neither of us will have the courage to bring up. Okay. Doesn't matter. M Monica, I guess? Since you haven't talked for a while. <laughs> Hi, Dino. Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? I can't read. Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well, being in this club is the one thing, is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people, I'll have to give it some thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It'll also make me happy to see. Uh -huh. I, I don't know. Oh, sorry. No, it's a fine. It's okay. <laughs> I just. Anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. I let Monica take the poem I'm hold holding in my hands. This one's good. It feels like you're not only getting more comfortable with your style, but the imagery is better than the last one I read. Just wondering, but have you been finding inspiration in Yuri's writing style? Mm hmm. I guess so. You can't deny that she's talented. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> I think her poems are the most romantic. <laughs> That's the best way to describe it. You say it with so much feeling. <laughs> <laughs> she's like a totally different person when she picks up a pen. I noticed that too. Or when she's talking about literature, it's like a light turns on inside of her. Mm -hmm. Sadly, it's hard to get much personal conversation out of her. Trust me, I'm trying. Who knows what goes on in that head of hers. I hope you don't mean that in a bad way. No, of course not. I just meant that I wish she didn't come. I wish she didn't keep so much to herself. But still, defending her like that, you must be pretty into her. Eh? You completely misunderstood. Ah, calm down. I'm kidding. Besides, I'm pretty sure she's already got a boyfriend. Wait, really? Yeah, a fictional one anyway. Monica kind of whispers that last part to me. It's just a hunch, but. Well, well, oh, well the, the, there's not really anything wrong with that. Oh, well, I know. 
I was just saying. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, alright? Er, uh, alright. A lady who knows everything. An old tale. An old tale tells of a lady who wanders earth. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer, all meaning, all purpose, and that was all ever. And that all. And all that was ever sought. And here I am, a feather, <coughs> lost adrift of the sky, victim of the currents of wind. Of the I can't read. Of the currents of the wind. Day after day I search, I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains. The last dim star glimmering in the toilet sky. <laughs> the twilight sky. Did I say toilet? The twilight sky. Until one day I the wind ceases. Okay, <laughs> Until one day the wind ceases to blow. I fall, and I fall, and fall, and fall even more. Gentle as a feather, a dry quill, expressionless. But a hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger, the hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I'm thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning, there is no purpose, and we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend, your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat, and I pick up a gust of wind. Oh, you know, I feel like learning and looking for answers are the sorts of things that give life meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything, but it was kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. I see. I've never put... I never really put much thought into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical. Because if we had all the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? You know, there's one thing I noticed. It seems almost everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. Uh, are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you'd know that better than anyone. I, you mean, oh, you mean one-dimensional? <laughs> uh, yeah, that. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. If you're ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not that good, it can be really, really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much into. But if you find another, if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you that your writing is good or bad, or okay, or good, okay, or bad, <laughs> they'll find they'll want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way, and it'll make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Hmm. Interesting. Doesn't matter. Dino, your writing has only improved in these last few days. Every poem you've shown me has been nothing short of spectacular. I can really feel the emotions. I'm a little envious, even. I don't think it ever came to me this naturally. Fury, that's the wrong way to put it. This never did come naturally to me, but I've been able to improve so much thanks to you. You're really the example I was chasing after. Is that so? Yuri gently smiles to herself. This feeling. I'm so glad I got the chance to share my writing. I never thought it would feel like this. I remember you mentioning that yesterday. I can't believe you're so good with, at something and you've never sh even shared it with anyone. It's kind of a shame. Maybe, but... It's not like I really had a choice. What do you mean? Well... Yuri smiles sadly. I know, during lunchtime, I eat by myself. Did you know that? It's a great time to find a quiet spot and do some reading. In fact, I always have some books with me. You could say I really enjoy reading. Well, that's one way to put it anyway. But books are so full of amazing and inspiring people. People you want to fall in love with, or people you just know would make a really good friend. Cheerful people who always put a smile on your face, or deep thinkers and problem solvers who discover the mysteries of life. So when you look at it that way, I'm surrounded by friends every day, you know? And those friends don't laugh at me. They don't tease me for spacing out all the time. They don't make fun of my body type. And and they don't hate me for acting like a know-it-all. People say that about you? 
I'm not a know-it-all, Dino. It's the opposite. I don't know anything. I don't know how to talk to people. I don't know how to make people see me as normal. I don't even know how to make myself happy. I have all these feelings, and all I can do with them is read and write. But it wasn't until now that I started sharing it with you, that I really understood what was missing all this time. But I haven't really done anything. No, that's wrong. Just being patient and respectful, that's really important to me. I know I'm a difficult person, Diana. I speak too slowly. I second guess myself all the time. I read too deeply into things. But every time, you've always treated me just like anyone else. It's so rare that I feel comfortable with myself when I talk to others. But that's why every time I talk to you, I just feel really happy. I see. I, well, I treat you how you deserve to be treated, Yuri. And if other people don't see it that way, then screw them. I mean, I joined this club hoping I, I would make friends. And I would say I'd have at least one success, wouldn't you? Um, if you put it that way, yeah. You really are friends now, aren't you? Yuri puts her head on her hands. But this time she's smiling as she does it. Do you want me, or do you want to show me your poem? Yeah, I do. Let me get it for you. Beach. A marvel millions of years in the making where the womb of earth chaotic, sorry, chaotically, chaotically. Yes. Yeah. meets the surface under a clear blue sky, an expanse of bliss, but beneath gray rolling clouds, an endless enigma, the easiest world to get lost in is one where everything can be found. One can only build a sandcastle where, where the sand is wet, but where the sand is wet, the tide comes. Will it gently lick at you, your foundations, until you give in? Or will a sudden wave send you crashing down in the blink of an eye? Either way, the outcome is the same. Yet we still build sand castles. I stand where the foam wraps around my ankles, where my toes squish into the sand. The salty air is therapeutic. The breeze is gentle yet powerful. I sink my toes into the ultimate boundary line, tempted by the foamy tendrils. Turn back and I abandon my peace to erode at the shore, drift forward, and I will, and I return to Earth forevermore. Mm -hmm. um, I'm aware that the beach is kind of an inane thing to write about, but I did my best to make a metaphorical approach to it. You say that like you don't even want to write about it. Oh, you haven't heard? After yesterday, Natsuki and I, well, uh, it was amusing that we wrote about something similar in such different ways. So that Suki wanted us to write about the same topic as each other again. I suppose to better compare the differences in our writing styles or thought processes. Anyway, it was her idea. Knowing her, it's no surprise that she'd want to do something like that. She probably just wants to show off. It's not like I have a particular interest in her writing style. I just went with her request, but well, I suppose it's not so bad to write about something simple on occasion. It can be refreshing, you know? It's good for me to call my thoughts once in a while. Yeah, I think I agree. Thanks for sharing. That's cute. Yep. Meh. I guess you really haven't learned anything after all. Honestly, I don't know why I got my hopes up in the first place. What? I didn't even think that one was that bad. Or this one was that bad. What did I do wrong? Poems don't need to be all deep sounding to express something. It's just going to sound like you're forcing it unless you really don't suck at it. Honestly, don't bother trying to write poems like this until you're on Yuri's level. Natsuki stopped short all of a sudden. D don't tell me. Eh? You're not, you're not just trying to impress Yuri, are you? What are you, what, what are you talking about? And keep your voice down. I, you know Yuri would love this kind of, this angsty, just because she's a talented writer doesn't mean I... I mean... <laughs> looks like I'm in trouble. I somehow struck a nerve, though what I did is beyond me. I'm so done with you. Natsuki shoves the poem I handed her back to, over to me. Take your stupid poem. If you wrote it for someone else, just don't show it to me. Ouch. This is what I get for letting a younger girl step into my business. Unless I was a mind reader, I was destined to be in a world of pain from the start. 
at least Natsuki wasn't really the girl I was trying to impress in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm a oh, joke. We don't, we don't get to see her. Oh, mm -hmm. that's a shame. Oh no. Hmm? It's nice, I guess. Come on, I can already tell you don't like it. Well, you don't need to worry about what I think. After all, you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? Probably Yuri. Eh? I didn't write this for anyone specifically. Maybe. <laughs> That's not really what I meant, though. But it's okay. You're making new friends just like I was hoping. That makes me really happy. And you're happy too, right? Oh my god, her smile's so fake. In this club? Well, of course I am. Good. That's all that matters to me. Thank you, Dino. Sayori, is something wrong? Huh? No, nothing. I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> Alright, just tell me if you need anything. I will. Don't worry about me, okay? You can go play with everyone else She's now. She's gonna kill Yuri, isn't she? If you insist. Yay! I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Sayori? Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? See you tomorrow. Before I can say anything, Sayuri cheerfully walks out of the classroom, humming to herself. Okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? So why don't we start figuring out? Hold on a second. Is it just me or did you say something strange just now? Yeah? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. Catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez, why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Stagnating air is calm foreshadowing that something terrible is going to happen. <laughs> wow. In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Sayuri isn't here. Uh, it seems you're right. Huh. Sayuri always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to, anyway? I thought she just went to pee. That's okay, please show some decency. Oh, come on! Uh, she actually wasn't uh, feeling... She actually oh. wasn't feeling too well <laughs> and went home early. It's okay. Is that so? I hope she's all right. Seriously? Of all the times to not go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well? So much for you two being all, being all lovey-dovey. Uh, no. First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Oh. That curious expression coming from Yuri of all people. Calm down, guys. I talked with her earlier and everything is fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparations, so... Let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I don't even know what <laughs> I'm doing, sorry. That's right, you caught what I have. You know what I'm now. <laughs> That's okay, we'll be making cupcakes. <laughs> but we might need a lot of them in different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. And as for myself, I think I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. So you will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri, Yuri, you can, uh, guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? <laughs> I, I'm useless. No, no, that's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know? No, Natsuki's pouting too. Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sayuri enough credit, but I can t tell things are harder on you when she's not around. Uh, that may be the case, but if I, I can't also be the leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know? So you should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that, I... I love atmosphere. Yuri's expression suddenly changes as, sh as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great. You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, don't you? The one that is truly <laughs> useless. Ah, don't say that. In fact, 
Well, that's a kid. You have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It'll probably be go. It'll probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. I would be really appreciative of that. Ah, uh, that's. Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give to you. It's not like Monica's going to give me a choice, and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall, Natsuki... You mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Dino may not like to be around if you only make him out to be a nuisance. So therefore, he may be more suited to assisting with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that! How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're just making excuses for Dino to... What are you saying? It will be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't? Just what do you think? Guys, guys, let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Dino to decide how he'd like to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? So I'm sure he's interested in... You literally just said... <laughs> I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I'm just saying though. Jeez. Can we just settle this already? Yeah, sorry, space out. Dino, are you okay with this, right? <laughs> In the end, it's up to you. Ah, uh, of course. There you go. In that case, everyone looks straight at me. Mmm. Sayori is dot dot dot. Actually, maybe we should save this. Save? Yep. Yeah. New? Uh, yes. Let's do that. Okay, and. Let's pick Monica. Really? Really? Yes. Okay. Because she looks suspicious. She sounds suspicious. Everything that she does is suspicious. <laughs> oh, wow. She looks she's suspicious. Okay. okay. She might. Well, I guess I should probably be helping Monica. Yeah, you pick me. Hold on one second. Yeah. Why are you all upset? Monica, you're the one who needs the least help out of all of us. But? I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but you already have Sayuri as well. But Dino was the one who... Uh... That doesn't matter. You're the one who scared him into picking you in the first place. <laughs> You're the club president, Monica. You're supposed to make responsible decisions for the club. Monica, you shouldn't let any ulterior motives interfere with this decision. Ulterior motives? What are you saying, Yuri? In fact, it sounds like you guys are the ones with ulterior <laughs> motives. Excuse me? Otherwise, this wouldn't have been made into such a big deal in the first place. Tracy, you voice her so well. It's like Nico. <laughs> That's why. That's completely false, Monica. Yeah! We have a lot of work to do, you know. We won't do as good of a job if you make us work alone. Uh, maybe that's true. Think of the club, Monica. If we want Dara to convince to succeed, then we need to appropriately distribute our resources. Um, uh... So are you gonna do the right <laughs> thing, President? Okay, okay, I get it. So it's technically most logical for Dino to help one of you two. So, I guess that's what we'll do. Oh! <laughs> I still come back to this option. What if I choose Sayori? Do you want to save again? No, it's okay. Because okay. I can always reload and then... Yeah. True. But wait, Sayori? Mm. I don't know. Yes, no? That's you. Sure. Sorry? Um... I don't know, anyway. Let's pick Yuri, actually. Okay. Me? Are you serious? Why would you... That's key. I can really tell you're about to say something new. <laughs> no. Okay. I, I keep doing that. No, it's, it's my okay. fault. It's just saying... Ugh. So you'll be helping Yuri then, Dino? Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm glad. I have a bad habit of overthinking these sorts of things. 
So I think your assistance will be very useful. That's great to hear. Natsuki, will you be able to handle the baking yourself? I mean, yeah. I already said I would be fine. Okay, okay. Everyone can tell that Natsuki's feeling a little sour. So, is that everything we needed to go over? Yeah, that should be about it. Are you guys excited? Well, excited... Oh, sorry. Well, excited may not be the right word. But I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit. Do you feel the same way, Dino? Me? I guess you could say I'm interested in how it'll turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Natsuki? Natsuki? What? Why is everyone yelling at me? I didn't even do anything. No, that's not what I meant at all. Uh... Yuri anxiously glances between everyone in the room. I'm sorry for this. I don't really know why Dino picked me. And also, your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I've ever had. They go really well with my tea. And nothing that I do for the event will compare to that, so... So... I get it, I get it. I'm kind of surprised, though. But why? Um... Well, I'm the one acting immature. I already know that. Hey, if you look between the dialogue box, it looks like they're holding hands. <laughs> but you're trying to cheer me up all the time. Never mind. <laughs> I know I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. Natsuki isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken back aback by Yuri's words. When she's already er when she already has trouble with words, trying to cheer someone up must be far out of her own comfort zone. I begin to understand. Yuri was trying to sound like Sayuri. Even if it didn't work pro uh perfectly. I can tell that she tried to say something Sayuri would say at a time like this. Because Sayuri would always help people smile, or er, everyone smile, and feel good about themselves. No, I kind of appreciated it. I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing. But I'm going to say this. You better bet that my cupcakes are going to be the best part of the whole event. Uh, I believe you. Yeah. I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today, so I guess it's time for us to head out. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Did you want to go back? To no. That? No, I think she just says alright. Yes. Okay. Alright, everyone head out, basically. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Natsuki out the door as they chat between each other. Um. Eh? I turn around. Sorry. I realized that I don't have any way of contacting mm -hmm. you this weekend. Oh, you're right. I can't believe that slipped my mind. Should I give you my phone number? I think that would be the best way, yes. Alright then. Yuri and I exchange phone numbers. Okay. Then I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday. Eh? My house? Is that a problem? No, not at all. I just thought that I would be the one going to your house since I'm the one helping you. Uh, I suppose that makes sense. But if you don't mind, I think I would prefer going to your house. Alright. In that case, it won't be a problem. I decide not to press Yuri for a reason. It's not like it should matter much anyway. I'll just need to make sure my room is clean. I hope I manage to make myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you are. Don't underestimate yourself, Tyler. I think that will make a very productive team. Even if you only chose me because you felt bad or something. Wait. You don't actually think that, do you? I don't know. It's difficult to come up with any other reason you may have chosen me. You're forgetting the one reason with the most common sense. I chose to help you because that's what I want to do. But... Yuri thinks to herself with an extremely tense expression. Yuri, you're overthinking this. You wanted me to point out when you're overthinking, right? I didn't realize. I'm telling you, I want to. There's all, that's all there is to it. Do you believe me? I... Oops. Yuri thinks really hard again. She looks straight into my eyes for a long time. I believe you. As if I... It took tremendous effort, Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. And I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah, I am too. After that exchange, I make my way out the door and Yuri follows. I can't believe this. Yuri's going to be coming to my house on Sunday? My anxiety shoots through the roof. Even though I've 
gotten pretty used to handling her at this point. There's no telling what might end up happening when we're outside of school. More than that, she told me she was looking forward to it. Is this the chance I have to make something happen between us? Or is it too early for that? Only time will tell. But even until then, I won't be able to take my mind off of it. I seriously can't wait. Should we save and... I guess? Hmm? Should we save? It's like pr getting pretty late. Okay. Oh, you... wait. Oh, oh, no. Huh? Crap, I hit auto. I don't oh. know why. <laughs> it's okay. But... Yeah, that's fine. You're getting to such a... Oh, you didn't... Like, now I just feel... It's so right there. We can, we can finish it so okay. next week? Yeah. When everyone's back? I think. Well, Teresa's gone next week. No, I'm oh. on the 19th. Yeah, so we can watch. Oh, okay. <laughs> also, Evil Within 2 is out next week. Oh, yes, I did hear about that. I have it on pre order, so I'm waiting for it to come in. So. Yes, you're just like, oh, it's like all of it has just been. Oh, I can't say. Everything's anything. building up to it. Yeah. It's yeah. not not even. Uh, you guys. Really? You guys have no idea what you're blocking me. Okay. Well, thanks for tuning in. Bye. Tune in next time. It is wild, it's like 12.30. Yeah, time just flew by. <laughs>